White House just trying to get separation? And yeah. Are they doing some things that maybe they're not uh, doing as well as they could? Um, you know, I think as a group, I wasn't real pleased with our White House as a group, uh, including Jeff. Uh, he had three panelists. Um, I thought there were some plays he could have made, uh, as well as the other receivers. I mean, we, we don't accept drop balls. I mean, when you're throwing the ball with any regularity, uh, they're drop killers. And so, uh, you know, four drops, whatever it was, is unacceptable. There, there really wasn't a big play in the game other than Jeff's uh, touchdown, which was, a, was a, merely a perfect pass, and he caught it and, and got it in the end zone. But we really didn't, as a group, play to the level that I expect them to play. Uh, that goes to blocking, uh, that goes to receiving and route running. So uh, Jeff's included in that group. I guess we've asked you about this before, but in terms of you mentioned those things, but what about the passing? It just doesn't seem like Gerard has a lot on his passes. It seems like re receivers are having to wait on wobbly passes a lot of times. Yeah. You know, you're talking about a guy who currently holds the NCAA record for most consecutive games with a touchdown pass. He's, he's averaged 300 yards per game. Uh, I thought he threw the ball really well against Oklahoma State with the exception of that last interception. I thought he made some big time throws in that game. But there have been times when it's been a little sporadic uh, and the ball hasn't uh, gelled. But he, he's, he's kind of been a streaky quarterback in his history, he, even with me. And he, he gets hot and uh, he, he can make every throw. And uh, I've seen him make throws in practice. I've seen him drive balls. I saw him drive balls against Oklahoma State. Uh, the touchdown pass to Jeff Fuller was a great, great throw, uh, and he underthrew another one. The, the one that, um, that Brandon Jackson caught was underthrown, and then Brandon came back and made a play on it. Um, so I can't disagree with you. There, there have been some times when the ball has flooded. I think part of that, more so than anything, he's overanalyzing things, and uh, you know, uh, I think we can we can correct some of that stuff, and we're going to correct it this week. On 